I can remember back in my early days of looking into what made MLP so popular, I started watching from the beginning of Season 2, going through episodes like The Return of Harmony, Lesson Zero, and Luna Eclipsed. I was actually impressed with what I saw, and started getting curious about what the most current episode in the series was like. Guess which one I ended up on. Now, this was still back before I had seen the majority of the show. I had only seen a few other episodes before this one. And like I said, I was impressed with those first few. But when I got to this episode, there was one thing that kept going through my mind. <laughs> Make it stop! Oh, Make it stop! I'm sure that I was being too harsh with the show back then, because now that I've gone through the entire series, I can better appreciate everything that has gone into making it. But I can tell you from personal experience that Hearts and Hooves Day should not be an episode that you show to a person who is just starting on the series. It's actually rather unfortunate that this was the first CMC-centered episode that I came across in the show, because there are several other episodes about them that are far more enjoyable. But again, maybe I'm being too harsh here. I can't even remember whether I've sat down and watched this episode all the way through ever since that very first viewing. And I should be going into this review with a fresh perspective. So, let's take a look at the episode that actually turned me off to the show for a few weeks. As the episode begins, we see the CMC are making a rather large paper heart for Miss Cherily due to the upcoming Hearts and Hooves Day. Miss Cherily is grateful for their efforts, that is until Sweetie Belle starts talking about having a special sum pony. Apparently, Miss Cherily doesn't have anyone at the moment to fill that role, but she's actually being patient with the girls even when they start asking pressing questions. And Sweetie Belle starts thinking they should find one for her. Which leads into The Perfect Stallion, the second song in MLP to involve all three of the CMC. I have to admit, the first time I heard this song long ago, it felt rather cringeworthy. But going through it again now, I actually started to appreciate the singing voices quite a bit more. Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle create some rather lovely harmonies together. I don't think the lyrics stand out all that much, and while the tune is light and upbeat, it really doesn't compare to some of the other standout pieces in MLP, but it does sound better than I remember it. The CMC decide that Big Mac is the perfect match for Miss Cherily, and even go so far as to get the two of them to meet at the gazebo. Of course, this just ends up being a rather awkward meeting that doesn't go anywhere. The CMC are disappointed that their plan didn't pan out when they bump into Twilight. She mentions to them about the book that she is reading, saying that Hearts and Hooves Day got its start from a love potion, which naturally gets the CMC interested in how to make one on their own. And then Twilight just hands them the book, which happens to have the recipe in it, which seems really short-sighted on her part. I mean, there are all kinds of ways for that to end really badly. But putting aside my concerns about Twilight's actions here, the CMC get to making their love potion and slipping it to both Big Mac and Miss Cheerly. And of course, the potion is far too strong, causing the two of them to never want to part. And this is where the episode starts getting cringeworthy for me. I realize that the conversations between Miss Cherily and Big Mac are supposed to make others gag, but the writers just took this way too far. It would have been enough to show that Big Mac and Miss Cherily are neglecting their responsibilities, and maybe adding in a little bit of this schmaltzy dialogue would have driven the point home. But now I remember why this episode turned me off to MLP for a while. Even if you put aside the overly schmaltzy conversations, the story is also overwhelmingly predictable. It seemed very much like a lot of other stories that I have seen in other movies and TV shows before. There really isn't that much here that makes the episode stand out. But if there is something that I find intriguing here, it has to do with the fact that this episode has the most development of Big Mac's character thus far in the series. Much of the rest of the episode shows pretty much what you'd expect to see, as the CMC are desperately trying to find a way to reverse the effects of the love potion. And we shouldn't assume that any of Big Mac's actions here are an integral part of his character, as he really was not himself. But there is something that we can see about Big Mac's character after the effects have worn off. Despite having been forced into a relationship by a magical potion, we see that he wasn't getting angry over any part of it once he was back to his normal self. We also see that Big Mac was willing to get over his shy nature when Miss Cherily simply asked him to spend the day with her later on. 
and we still see the two of them together much later on in the series during Just for Sidekicks. Even with being put through some awkward encounters and spending much of the day being a lovesick romantic, Big Mac was still able to be a nice guy. Going back to his usual calm and collected self without any sign of being upset by the experience. It reminds me of the phrase, nice guys finish last. A nice guy like Big Mac may not be willing or able to seek out a relationship. But once they do get noticed, it's easy to see why these relationships work so well. Overall though, I did actually enjoy this episode a little more than I thought I would, but that's probably because I went into it remembering how much of a bad impression it left on me the first time I saw it. The song may not be as cringeworthy as I remembered it, but it doesn't really stand out that much either. The story was pretty much just as predictable as I remembered it though. The CMC certainly had their cute moments together, but I can think of other episodes with them that are quite a bit more enjoyable. However, despite all the mediocre and even cringeworthy moments in this episode, there are a few good things here. Developing Big Mac's character is definitely a plus. The lesson, while simple, is something that I really think a lot more people should learn. And there are a few moments in this episode that actually made me laugh, so it ended up being more enjoyable than I remember it. It's just that Hearts and Hooves Day feels rather underwhelming compared to many of the other episodes in MLP. So this is just another episode that I put into the okay category for being a story that makes me smile and cringe with each viewing. But what do you think? Do you have any favorite bits from this episode that help it to stand out? Or are there moments that make the story feel underwhelming? Do you have any ideas on a future story that could give some more development to Big Mac's character? Will Twilight ever understand just how much trouble she can cause when she hands a book with a potentially dangerous recipe to a child? I would like to hear your thoughts on Hearts and Hooves Day, and let us hope for a future episode that shows a much better side to a developing relationship. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you. Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs>